Okay, so I want to get something straight. Your last name is Orlando, and your first name is Gio, or is it, or is it Gio? Gino. Gino. Gino, Gino is my real name, Gino but is people your call real... me Gio. Why? It's my nickname. How did you go from Gino to Gio? First name starts with a G. For a last name starts with an O. G O. First name starts with a G. First name ends with an O. G O. First name starts with a G. Last name ends with an O. G O. But everybody calls me G E O. The E's extra. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that cleared anything up. Okay. If you want me to call you Gio, I can. Gio. Call but if me I Gio. Say, but if I say Gino, you'll. Yeah, that's all right. I'll answer to that. That garbage is bothering me. Get some garbage bags. Get some garbage bags. Let's go. All right. Wow, that's a lot of dog shit. Man, that's a lot of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the mayor about this. You do that. I think I'm gonna be sick. Have you been able to get uh, Helen Hunt? Nope. Linda Hunt? Nope. Marsha Hunt? Nope. Holly Hunter? Nope. Tab Hunter? Nope. All right, what about John Hurt? No. Mary Beth Hurt? No. William Hurt? Nope. Aiden Quinn? No. Farrah Quinn? No. Dr. Quinn? No. Colin Quinn? No. Really? Check on him again. I think we might be able to get him. Charlie Sheen? Nope. Martin Sheen? No. Michael Sheen? Michael Shannon. That's a definite maybe. Oh, good. OK, OK. What about Billy D. Williams? No. Michelle Williams? No. Robin Williams? No. Treat Williams? No. Michael Kenneth Williams? No. Really? Oh, yeah. That's another definite maybe. Oh, good. Thank God. Uh, Jessica Williams? Who? Jessica Williams. She's on The Daily Show. Did you? I don't know who that is. Well, it doesn't matter if you know who they are. If I, if I ask you to get somebody, then you just got to go and do it. Got it. All right. What about Richard Lewis? No. Nope. Juliette Lewis? No. Jerry Lewis? No. What did you give me that look for? <laughs> you didn't even ask him. You just thought he wouldn't do it, right? No. I need you to be honest with me, Gio. All so, right. Have you called any of these people? No. <laughs> OK. Well, at least I was honest. Wow. Rosie! Wow, oh, I get applause. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I want to introduce you to some of my friends. This is Gio. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Gio. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. you can call him Gino, too. Gino or it's, Gio? Uh, yeah. Sylvester. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, the la di da. Mm. He's yeah. very suave. All right, and yeah. this is his brother, Shakespeare, Shakespeare Jr. Shakespeare, Deponé as well. Yes. Mm. Right. Two kiss. Mm. All right, man. It's getting a little weird now, guys. It's getting a little weird. Now, come on. Oh, oh, she comes over. You got to be gentlemen. Well, it was nice meeting you, Rosie. Nice. Steve, I'm going to use the phone. Uh, OK. See you later. He's a man of few words, Joe. He's, I'll say. he's got He's got business to do. Thank you. Thank you for being Steve, here. Steve, thank you. And for I'll see you again. Okay, okay. All right. see you again. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. Shakespeare. Right. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you again. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what the hell are they? <laughs> <laughs> they were here when I showed up this morning. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, yeah. But right. I like them. I like mm -hmm. those guys. They, they, they added a little pizzazz to the show. Yeah. Yeah. But have a seat. Oh, thank you. Now, Rosie, it's a little windy. Is it okay to be out here? Yes, it is, because I got a hat on. You have a hat? Yeah, because when the wind blows, and then it's going to be a hair issue, and I just like to look like really well coiffed and everything, and so. You mean you like to look like that? <laughs> look at that. Take a look at this. 
That was a good one. You, yeah, that was well, so good. This is Gabby. good. This is good. Oh, thank you. This book is terrific. It's called Rosie Perez Handbook for an Unpredictable Life. How I Survived Sister Renata and My Crazy Mother and Still Came Out Smiling with Great Hair. With Great Hair. Yeah. So you've lived in Clinton Hill. I know you've lived, you were in Bushwick. Bushwick and Williamsburg South. And East New York? No. For what? I read that in your book. I'm not in East New York. I have relatives in East New York. I don't live in East New York. Didn't your dad live in East New York? Oh, yeah, he did. We didn't call it East New York back then. What did you call it? We just called it over there. Over there? Just Because it was so there. far away. It's like, we right. over there. Tell me why you wanted to write this book. I didn't want to write it. You didn't want it? No, everybody was pressuring me to write it ever since I started. In so where did so the idea come from? You know my charity, Urban Arts Partnership, that you refuse to do the 24-hour plays? Oh, I know. I always get asked. And, yeah, and, um... and you always say no. But anyway, we'll talk later. All right. I hope I f made you feel guilty. You did. So you did. the kids there, I'm always encouraging them to tell their stories and open up and share and examine their life and who they are as people. And one of the kids said, well, Ms. Perez, what's your story? And I froze. And then I felt like a hypocrite. And I went home and I sat down. And uh, over three weeks, I wrote a 100-page proposal manuscript. I love writing. I would write just for myself. Um, and in college, you know, I, even though I, I, I majored in biochem, I had English lit as, as uh, a minor. But this format, writing a book, was, mm, right. it was tough. It was, it was really, really tough. And then we took it out um, to five different uh, publishers. And it was so insulting because they all kept asking me, who helped you to write this? Wow. I was like, don't let the accent fool you. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And in the process of writing it, was it easy to kind of let it out? Or, or, or were you still trying to hold on to those secrets? You know, like, maybe I could say this much, but I'll hold back on some stuff. I can't believe you asked me that. Nobody asked me that. Mm -hmm. I did hold back. And I was like, this is too much. It's too much already. Some days it was really enjoyable because I'm funny, naturally. But some days were really dark. Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I need to go outside for a walk. And Well, here's, you know, the thing about the book. I can't believe you're going through this. Physical abuse and mental abuse, yeah, yeah. all this like stuff. And then, you, and then I read, and then I turned five. <laughs> you know, I'm like. <laughs> but the fir your first three years, you yeah. said that you, you it, it seemed relatively happy because you were in a, you were in a safe and loving warm place. And yeah, loving place. I was so loved and spoiled and told I was special every single day. This is by the woman who you, you thought was. I thought was she was my mother. Yeah, but mother. she was in fact my aunt. But then your mother, your real mother, came back, and took you away from that environment, that happy, safe. Uh, yeah. And then on top of that, she sent you to a home. Yeah. So yeah, a Catholic home a Catholic for children. Home. Yeah. That was just a happy, full of life, spirited child. So when I went to the convent, the nuns tried to beat that out of me right. because it's better to conform than to be an individual because then pride enters into the equation and that's a sin and blah blah blah. I went back there mm -hmm. and some of the nuns was, were like still mean which I it just really? cracked me up. It was so funny. I was like still? Really? You're like old and decrepit. <laughs> you know? One of the nuns actually said to me I remember you, you had a bad temper, and I go, with good reason. But I have to thank the nuns, because they're the first ones to put me on the stage. They did? They did! Yeah, wow. They did, they were the first. How do you get past your past? You know what my, my doctor told me? She said, when you walked in here, you were drowning in this ocean of pain from your past. And you, but you tread water for so long, you're so good at it. Now we're gonna do the work, and I'm gonna get that ocean to become a river and then a lake and then a tiny little pond and we're gonna build a bridge over it. It's still gonna be there, but now you can walk over it. You'll have the tools to just walk over it, look down on it and go, okay, it's not a part of me anymore. It's there, but it's not wow. a part of me anymore. Isn't that fantastic? That is. And have you reached that? Have you built yes. that bridge? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The bridge could be a little stronger yeah. than it's. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so when do you do the 24? Hey, Rosie, we're ready for you. Thank goodness. All right. Well, we it are. was real. I'll see you. I got to go do his show now. <sighs>
How you been? Good, man. Oh, one second. Oh, you got the book. Yeah, Aww. no. I want to talk. Oh, no. I miss you. I miss seeing a guy. You're around. Oh, just right here? Yeah. Yeah, this is where Another we Another bench? This is where I was at. But my show is called Bench Talk. Yeah.